We stand on our feet all day long. We're making phone calls with our team. Should our salesmen be sitting down at their desks? No, they should be standing up and making calls and having fun. Hey, my GMs, I just want to ask this question. And I mean this, right? Now that we've shown you guys what a room can do with the manager at the front of the room, leading the salespeople and making the calls, right? Intentionally teaching them. Did, did they train why they were making the calls? Yeah, they trained, they got better. And what was their energy like? Remember when they first started dialing? They're like, I don't wanna do this. And then 10 minutes later, they're like, hey God, I got one, I got one, I got one. Put it on the board, put it on the board. And guess what? They were going crazy. How fast were they running back to you just to please you that they got another appointment? When is the last time you've seen a salesman light up on the phone? We were having to cut him off. We were like, guys, we're done. We're done. We're, we're done with the phone room. The phone rooms, we're putting the phone room away. Put your phones down. They wouldn't put them down. Let me call one more. Let me call one more. Guys, this right here can be every day in your life. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. The life that you want, it's all in doing the work. It all starts with these three gyms standing right here. Okay? But then, and they've got to change. Jeff, you've got to change. You've got another level. Am I right? Good. Bring his ass out. Okay? But also, you have managers that work underneath you. Are those guys changing? Are you letting some of those guys get away with the free ride because you've gotten close to them and you're afraid to have a hard conversation and a direct conversation with somebody? Because that's bull if you are. Same with you, Dominic, and same with you, Ryan. You guys are all three amazing men. You wouldn't be in the spot that you're at right now if you hadn't worked hard to get where you're at. But just because you got where you are, that doesn't mean that you can take advantage of the situation and not lead the people that are underneath you. The number one rule that I see most GMs, the number one problem most GMs make is they won't correct their managers underneath them. You know why? Because you're afraid. You're afraid you're going to lose one of them if you push them too hard. They won't change. Get their out of here. Am I right? Get them out of here. And if you're a manager and you're listening to this, your little prima donna ass, get your out of here I'm not interested in it your family doesn't deserve to be shortcut these guys don't deserve to be shortcut their family don't deserve to be shortcut and our customers don't deserve to be shortcut listen to me grab it and literally get a hold of it I promise you right now every single one of you you guys back here service departments same deal with you BDC departments everybody here right if you run a team, it's your responsibility to take care of the people underneath you. And you know what taking care of the people underneath you means? It means having direct conversations with them. If somebody isn't doing their job, handle it. What does handling it mean? Hey, why aren't we doing our job right? Look, did you see a customer just walk in? Yeah? And you didn't get off your and go thank him for being here and say thank you? Okay, because I'm going to tell you right now, if you were trying to get this job, you would tell me, hey, man, I'll talk to everybody. Okay, I'm going to be everywhere. Anybody that comes in here, they're sold because I'm a closer, right? But now all of a sudden we gave you the job and you're sitting on your ass. Okay, I promise you this. There should never be a manager sitting down unless all the customers are in the box and he's calling in structure on a deal. Maybe a rare minute. Other than that, we stand on our feet all day long. We're making phone calls with our team. Should our salesmen be sitting down at their desks? No, they should be standing up and making calls and having fun like they did today in the boiler rooms. Dude, think about it. 90 appointments, 80. Man, I ain't the best math, that's 70. And then 60, that's 220 appointments. Now let me ask this question. Are they all coming in today? Nope, they're coming over the next three to four days. I know they are. Tomorrow, we're gonna have to call and confirm all of them. And then we're gonna have to sell them all, which is gonna do what? Require managers saying hi to every single salesperson that, or every single customer that comes into the, the dealership for the next three days. Your managers better get ready for war, okay? Think about this. We got 200 people coming in the next three days. We're running five grand a car. Just do the math. What's 200 times five? Is that a million? Is that a million dollars? 
We've got a million dollars coming in the door in the next three days. Can we afford to miss a million? I'm not even counting the business that was already coming. I'm counting new money. It scares me how much money is out there. It does, it kind of freaks me out. Honestly, because we don't deserve this. Shit. We don't, man. I didn't do anything extra special. The market's given us this. We got to work hard right now and attack it. So Jeff, hey, by the way, good job on being a great leader. Hey, good job. Good job, Dominic. Good job, Ryan.